Okay, you got a few weeds here along the driveway. And the driveway right down here has got some weeds in it too. So, And here's what we're going to use. We're going to use some vinegar, salt, dishwashing liquid, and a little sprayer. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put my cup of salt in there. I know that some people will take and put a cup of water in there too, and of warm water to help dissolve the salt. But it's going to be one, one, and one a gallon, a cup, and a squirt. So it don't have to be, if your cup isn't exactly a cup, that's not the end of the world. Now, we're going to put the vinegar in there, and I just use regular white vinegar. Now, you got to be careful because I call it a weed killer, but it'll pretty much kill anything in its path. So, stay away from the flower beds. It's not, it doesn't care what it is, it'll get it. Now, the dishwashing liquid. Whatever kind you want. I usually give it a good full squirt. Some people, I think, say a tablespoon or something, but what this dishwashing liquid is going to do is going to make a binder so that when you spray it on the weeds and stuff like that, the, it'll kind of stick there. So we'll put the lid back on here and shake this around a little bit. Go do some spraying. Okay, the sprayer has developed the leak, but we're gonna go ahead and spray down what we got here. We're gonna go ahead and spray what we can. And then we'll come back and see what this does. Say so it seems like if I do it in the sunlight or when it's not gonna rain. Now you want to try to soak these down pretty good, and this ought to be fairly pet friendly. And then some people take some lemon juice and put in it also. And we'll just see what this does to these weeds. Okay, we'll spray a little bit on this. See what it does. Running out. See, this thing has a hole in the bottom of it, so I should have tried this out before the making of the video. Now, my dad used to do this for years, and he'd go around spraying vinegar, salt, and um, dishwashing liquid on everything. And it seemed like it did an effective job, so. This is a Sunday morning. We'll come back maybe this evening and tomorrow or something and see what these look like. Okay, about 45 minutes later and you can see we're starting to kill some of it. The wide leaf plants seem to be dying first. Now, I'm not sure I got it all coated because, like I said, a sprayer was leaking. But so far, it's seeming to be effective now. Here we got green, but I'm not sure how well I sprayed this area. You may have to do this a couple times. But we'll come back here in a little bit and check. Like I say, that's only been about 45 minutes. Okay, so it's Monday evening and you can see here it killed a lot of that on the first spraying. We still got some green right down through here, but with my bottle leaking and spraying, I might have missed a little of that. Let's walk down here and see if it did anything to the vines on the tree down here. Okay, so here's that tree that we sprayed on the vines on it. And there's... So it did start to do some stuff. But we didn't have that much to spray on here because with that leak, I did. I kind of ran out pretty fast. I'll have to spray this a little more and see what kind of results I get. Um, but it looks like this kind of stuff you might have to spray more than once to be really effective. But it did do fairly decent on the driveway.
So it did work a little better here though than it did on them vines. But also, we've had some torrential downpours last night. It stormed pretty crazy all night. So a lot of this and on them vines kind of got washed away. So, But anyway, this is enough to see that it does actually work. And it did kill a lot of this. Okay, it's been a couple of days here and I couldn't just end the video that way. We're going to give this one more spray and we're going to go down and spray on that tree one more time and see if we can do any better down there. So we wetted that down pretty good. As I was doing that, the bottom of my sprayer blew out again so that little bit of epoxy I put on there didn't hold it. But I gave it a little bit of a spray and we'll come back tomorrow and see what it is. And then what it is, what it is. Okay, here's the driveway the day after the second coating and most everything's dead in it. It's got a few spots of green hanging in there. But all in all, didn't do too bad. Okay, so it's starting to thin it out some, but it really didn't have the effect I thought it might have on that vine. If you look on this side of the tree though, where I sprayed, it did kill a lot of that. I'm just not sure why it doesn't like this. That seems to be a pretty hardy vine. Okay, I originally had sprayed that on a Sunday morning. I believe it was Tuesday morning when I made the update and resprayed it. Now this is Thursday and as you can see, it got rid of the most of it that I did spray. And this vine went up the side here. So I guess it just took a little longer. So I'll tack this on to the end of the video there because this is on a Thursday. So this is not quite a week later, but it did take care of most of that.